Hey guys, so um, it's I'm going to do my end of the year favorites. Oh my god, I feel like my face. I do my end of the year favorites, and today the lighting really sucks. But I wanted to film this today anyways. But um, it sucks because I think it's about to rain like any minute now outside. So um, oh my god, when I sit down, I'm not. I look so little. Um, yeah, right. I don't look little. But, um, anyways, I'm gonna jump right in because I have a lot of things to talk about. And, uh, I'll probably talk about non-makeup things first, as I usually do. Because I usually have more makeup to talk about. So, my favorite skincare product of the year is something I talk about all the time. It is the La Roche-Posay Effaclair Duo. And I got this from Walgreens. It's amazing. Um, basically, anytime I feel a pimple coming in, I put this on it. Like, I have one here right now that's, like, a big pain in the butt. But um, I put this on it, and a lot of times it doesn't even fully form into a pimple. That's how good this stuff is. So I highly recommend this. It's a little bit pricey. It's $35, but this is the second tube of this I've ever bought, and the last one lasts me over a year. Like, you really need just a tiny amount, and it really works. And it goes on clear, so you can wear foundation over it, <laughs> or or anything, or like you can wear it at night, it doesn't matter. So, I love that. Um, also, my sadly empty and kind of gunky um, uh, L'Occitane Amand de Palm cleansing oil. I've only saved this so I could show this in this video. But, um, but yeah, cleansing oil, basically is like one of the things that I really changed about my skincare routine is that I really have been using cleansing oil a ton. Like I use either cleansing oil or an exfoliator. Like this is what I use to cleanse my face. It's just, it doesn't strip your skin. It lathers up really nicely and it just leaves your face feeling clean, but not tight. So I love cleansing oil. I've tried lots of other brands too. I like the Shumura there's a bunch of them that I like, but that was my favorite, as I love how it smells too. And then, for hair care, this is the Batiste Cherry Dry Shampoo, and this is my favorite scent, which is why I'm showing this one, um, that I've tried. This one I got from Urban Outfitters. But, um, basically, dry shampoo has changed my life this year. I was always a wash your hair every day kind of girl, but I've become a wash my hair every other day kind of girl. <laughs> and, um... This stuff is the best dry shampoo that I've tried, and I have tried a lot of dry shampoos. So, um, they sell it at, I got, I get, uh, yeah, I already said I got this from Urban Outfitters, but they also sell, um, Batiste at Ulta. They don't sell this particular one, but, um, I've seen them at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, I've seen them a lot of places in the U.S. at salons and stuff, so, um, this stuff's amazing. It's like $8. Love that so much. My favorite fragrance of the year, again, this is tragically empty, this is my um, Gucci Flora Glamorous Magnolia, and it is the blue one from the um, collection that came out this summer. I really hope that it's permanent. I haven't seen them take it off the shelves or anything yet, so I hope that it's permanent because I want to repurchase this because it just smells amazing. It's like really fresh and clean and floral, which are scents that I'm not usually drawn to, but it just smells so good on. I got so many compliments when I would wear this, and I love the bottle, and it's just amazing. So that's that. And then, random favorite candle of the year. I have two, of course. One is Summer Boardwalk from Bath & Body Works, Slack & Co. And this is amazing. I got this over the summer, and I wanted to get extras of them, and they were sold out completely and all I could get were like minis. I got so many of the minis and then I got this one which is like the smaller size and I haven't even burned it because I don't want to. I just want to smell it. So this is um, caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salted sweet cream and it smells exactly like that. It's amazing. And my other favorite is one I've talked about recently and it is Yankee Whiskers on Kittens. Again, I have two of these. I got one as a gift for my mom and one as a gift for my aunt. Need I say more? <laughs> It screams me and it smells really nice too like amber and sandalwood and vanilla so um I love that and last non beauty favorite is the um, L'Occitane hand cream oh my god L'Occitane makes the best hand creams ever and they're so tiny and portable that I can fit it in my pocket even when I'm working and um, this is my favorite one it is honey 
and um, they sell this at Sephora so I got this as a Christmas gift from my mom but I've bought it before on my own so that stuff is amazing okay beauty favorites favorite foundation is a drugstore foundation that I've talked about many times I even have a review on it on my on my channel and this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi I'm in the shade N1-2 soft ivory slash classic ivory this is just a really beautiful foundation uh, what's sad is I'm not wearing a lot of the products that, that I'm um, that I featured in my in this favorites video because I wasn't planning on filming this when I was doing my makeup but um, this is just a really nice foundation I was so surprised by how much I love this so um, if you like it's I wouldn't really say it's dewy but it's not matte it's just a really like nice natural finish and there's such a good shade range so this is really a great foundation and um, for high end, I didn't bring them over to show you, but I really loved the um, YSL La Tante Touche Claw, which I'm wearing today. And um, I also loved the Lancome Tan Idol Ultra 24 Hour, which I used up the whole bottle and I don't have it anymore. So that was also a great foundation. So, um, okay, for eyeshadow, I have two palettes. I don't think you're going to be surprised by either of them. This is the Tom Ford Burnished Amber Quad. It is freaking beautiful, especially the two shades on the bottom I use all the time. I just love this. So worth the money. I actually got this with a Christmas gift card last year, um, and which I'm so glad I did because I don't think I would have splurged on it otherwise, and it was so worth it. And the other one is the Blinding Guerlain Turandot palette from, um, I believe this is from Fall 2012. But it's just so beautiful. I love every shade in this palette. I pretty much, I pretty much wear these like almost every day. So, and I like to switch up my eyeshadow. So that's saying something. Um, for highlighter, again, not going to be a surprise. The Balm Mary Luminizer. So stunning. That's what it looks like. I'm wearing it today though too. So, ah, now I got it on my hand. It's gorgeous. I love it. And they now sell that at uh, Nordstrom, too, so, or on the website, anyways. Okay, this is, there's my camera! My favorite blush, Dolce & Gabbana Caramel. I took the, the brush out, I think I threw it away, actually, because I never use these little dinky blush, brushes. So, um, it's just my, it's, it's such an everyday, neutral, just really flattering color, and again it's one of those things that like I bought this on recommendation of um from Rachel makeup never sleeps and I bought it the same I think the same time I bought the Tom Ford quad so that was a really successful <laughs> shopping experience but um or no I didn't I bought them separate because you can only buy this from Saks that's right so um which sucks but it's kind of worth it to dip in just for um, Dolce & Gabbana blushes because they are amazing. So um, let's see. Uh, again, another not surprise, <laughs> the Bobbi Brown Longwear um, Cream Shadows were my favorite eye primer. Um, I like MAC Paint Pots. I like Maybelline Color Tattoos. I like um, the Primer Potion from Urban Decay, but I love these. This is my favorite color too. This is Bronze Sugar and I don't know if you can tell, but I've used a substantial amount of this. I've shown this in tutorials, but it's basically like a bronzy taupe, and it's beautiful. It looks good under everything that I wear in terms of eyeshadow, so it's amazing. My favorite eyeliner, I have two because they're very different. This is um, the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Amethyst. What's great about these is that you can wear them as a shadow or a liner, um, and this is just such a beautiful color. It's so unique, and it's like a purpley, taupey brown, and um, I love wearing this on my waterline, and it lasts forever. I've never had a liner last like these do, so um, I love that. I actually got that last year, but I'm including it because it's still my favorite, so. The other one is the NARS Rue Bonaparte, which is the skin-colored liner. I'm wearing this today actually and it's on my waterline but that's what I love it for for the waterline I never used to do that either but this is the only one liner that I've tried that's really 
not made my eyes look crazy. It's pointy enough and small enough of a tip that I can just get it in my waterline and it doesn't go down to the lash line. So this is a really a great liner. Worth the splurge. Although Rimmel has come out with one recently, but it's not available in the U.S. yet, so. Um, okay, let's see. What next? Favorite nail polish, let's see. This is Butter London Trout Pout. What's crazy is you would think, I'm kind of a nail polish hoarder, just like I am a lipstick hoarder. You would think that I had a, would have a really hard time picking my favorite nail polish, but I pretty much just like went straight for this because Butter London in general is just a fantastic brand. I really fell in love with them this year and this was absolutely my favorite color. Pretty much any color that's similar to this, I want immediately. <laughs> but um, I love this slapper, the turquoise blue teal is um another favorite from butter london but um i love this color the formula is great i love the packaging yeah easy easy to call that my favorite so i can't believe how quickly i'm breezing through this i'm almost done um so my fa i think this is going to be shorter than my regular favorites so favorite mascara hands down I tried so many mascaras this year. I really liked the YSL Fossil Shocking, but um, pretty much after I ran out of that, I didn't like anything. <laughs> and um, I didn't like my Lancome Hypnose Drama anymore. I didn't like any drugstore mascaras that I tried. I just was very underwhelmed with mascara. Benefit, they're real. I liked it, but it smudged like a mofo. I've never had a mascara smudge on me as bad as Benefit, they're real did. I looked like a raccoon. I would go out in public and I'd be like, oh, I look pretty. And I'd look in the mirror and I'd be like, I look like a mess. So um, yeah, I, I kind of want to try it again though, just using it on my top lashes because sometimes that helps. But yeah, anyways, my favorite is this Chanel. I love the cap. Um, Le Volume de Chanel Mascara, which I only got this past month, but it's just that good that it surpassed all the mascaras I had tried last year. And usually I like um, more of like, like, uh, I don't usually like the synthetic brushes. I usually like like the bristle brushes, but um, this one really just clings to my lashes, pulls them up and curls them and leaves them that curled and voluminous all day. So um, the only thing I will say about this, just like I was saying how I want to try the benefit they're real on the top lashes only. I really only like this on the top lashes. When I put it on the bottom, it's a little bit too wet and it kind of smudges too. So, um, but it doesn't do that on the top lashes and it, it looks amazing. So I just use a different mascara on the bottom lashes. Okay. So lipsticks, I only grabbed three. That's showing such restraint, isn't it? So the first one, no question about it. The Dior Addict Extreme in Saint Tropez. This is my second tube and um, the only reason I haven't used this one up completely is, see it's, it's actually pretty worn down, is because I got into vampy lips this fall but it would have been gone <laughs> if I would have kept using it as often as I was in the summer. But this color is just so beautiful. I love and it changed like after I tried this lipstick I was obsessed with this kind of color. I was looking for this kind of color everywhere. Like that's what I consider to really be like a standout product for me is one that I love so much that I'm constantly trying to find others like it. So um, I just think this is a fantastic lipstick. I hope they come out, they really expand this range because the quality of these is really great too. I like these better than the regular Dior Addicts. But, um, but yeah, it's amazing. This is my favorite color. Unfortunately, it's a Sephora exclusive, but um, it's awesome. This is the Laura Mercier Rose Quartz lipstick, which again was Sephora exclusive. Um, but they recently came out with a color in the Cream Smooth Lip Color range called um, Arabesque. I actually showed it in my December Favorites video, but um, I hate when you find like little fuzzies on your lipstick. Gross. Um, but again, this is a color kind of similar to Saint Tropez, but more pink. So that's that. And again, beautiful. I was, this is one of those things where I, when I saw it in the store, I was like, mine. <laughs> so um, yeah, I love that. That was one of my absolute favorite lipsticks this year. And my third, I, I really feel like these products are not going to be a surprise because I've talked about these so much in other videos. This is the um, YSL um, Rouge Pateur, Rouge Pateur, <laughs> Rouge Pure Couture, the matte in, um, 
Granat Satisfaction. And this is basically the color that turned me into vampy lips. And now I'm obsessed and have quite a little collection of lipstick colors like this. But this is still my favorite. I love that color. So then finally, because I forgot to say it before I went into lipsticks, my favorite lip gloss, which I'm not a huge lip gloss, gloss fan, were the Buxom Lip Polishes. And this is Creamsicle. And I just thought, like, this color looks so nice over so many lipstick colors. And um, I love how these taste. They're kind of minty and refreshing. And they feel really good on your lips. And I just love these. Again, I hope they expand this range too. So, and these are also only available at Sephora. Good job, Sephora. You did well this year. So that is all of my favorites for 2012. I hope you enjoyed. Of course, as always, I will list everything that I'm wearing on my face in the info bar. And um, I will be back soon with another video. I have so many videos that I want to record. I hope that you all had a fantastic 2012 and are enjoying 2013 so far. And um, I will talk to you guys soon. Again, sorry I look so washed out. I look crazy today. But um, I love you guys. I will talk to you soon. 